What's up, y'all? It is GF Sports back with another video today. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I do videos every day of the week, and football season is here, so I might be doing two, three videos a day. You never know. So if you like football, go and subscribe to the channel. Uh, today's video, I'm going to do a, a quick recap of the new AP poll and talk about the teams that are in the top five, talk about their, their, their previous games. If you haven't seen it already, uh, Georgia, I mean, Alabama's number one, Georgia's number two, number three is Oklahoma, number four is Oregon, and number five is Iowa. Uh, Alabama, they they just did what they always do against non-ranked teams at home. I think I've seen a thing, I think they won like 99 in a row or something like that, some crazy stat. But they, they played Mercer and you already knew they was gonna win by four or five touchdowns. They ended up winning 48-14. Mercer, I think they got a couple uh, garbage touchdowns at the end against the second and third string defense <laughs> for Alabama. Uh, Bryce Young, he went 19 for 27 with three touchdowns. Uh, Brian Robinson, the running back, he had 10 carries for 70 yards. I mean, it was just, it was, I mean, there's not really much to say about this game. Alabama dominated from start to end. Like I said, Mercer just got a couple garbage touchdowns at the end. Uh, Florida and Alabama play next week. That's going to be – that's uh, Alabama's next game is Florida. So, that's going to be an interesting game. Uh, Florida, you know, they got a little quarterback controversy uh, with uh, Emory Jones and AK-15. That's what they call them, uh, that new quarterback. Uh, he did have a little injury uh, in the last game, so it's kind of unclear what that status is. But, you know, if he plays, you know, things could get interesting. It is at the Swamp, so you never know. But I still predict Alabama win by at least two or three touchdowns. Georgia, that's my team if you don't know. Uh, we played UAB. We handled them quite, 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 quite easily. <laughs> we, uh, we won 56-7. to seven. Uh, I mean, it was a good game, but there's a lot of Georgia fans not happy with the way the quarterback situation was, situation was ha handled. JT Daniels had an oblique, uh, an oblique injury. It's been bothering him since the Clemson game. Uh, and Kirby Smart tried and stance and been another. There's really no point in doing that, in my opinion, and a lot of other point opinion. I mean, he's not, I mean, he's going to, anybody could went out there and beat UAB, pretty much anybody. I could have went out there and played quarterback, and we would have probably won somehow, some way. <laughs> but, I mean, there's, we should have started, he should have started crossing back, get him some game time experience to get in there and show what he got and let him mess up. Let him mess up. Let him redeem himself. Let him get a feel for game time action. He can practice all day long against the ones and twos, but getting that game time action is really going to help him. And I mean, he did a little here and there. I think he did three, four drives. Brock Vandergup, he came in. That's our third string quarter. He came in and handed the ball three times. I mean, it's just sometimes it's mind boggling with Kirby. Like, I, I just don't understand. I mean, if he was scared of losing to UAB, we have some major problems. Major problems. Uh, Oklahoma, they beat Western Carolina 76 to zero. Spencer Rattler had a good game. He threw for five touchdowns. He threw for 243 yards. I didn't watch that game, but I'm pretty sure they took him out after halftime. And being at 76 to nothing, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was 40 something nothing at halftime. But I'm pretty sure he only played the first half. Uh, you know, they play uh, Nebraska next. They should handle them pretty easily. I like to predict them to win by two or three touchdowns. Nebraska's horrible. Uh, there's not much to say about that. Uh, we got Oregon. They probably had the biggest week, biggest win of the week. They beat Ohio State at Ohio State, 35 to 28. Uh, their running back uh, had a really good game. C.J. Riddell, he had 21, 20 carries on 161 yards, two touchdowns. That, that that was a really good game. Last week they struggled with Fresno State, barely won by seven points to Fresno State. Next week they come out and beat number three at the time, Ohio State, in the shoot. So that was a really impressive win for Oregon. Look to them, look for them to watch out for Oregon this year. Not many people predicted predicted them to be, you know, two and zero. But uh, you know, we'll see what they got next week. They play Stony Brook. They should handle them pretty bad. I mean it. It'll probably be like the Oklahoma game. It'll probably be somewhere 70-something nothing. I mean, Oregon, Oregon's looking good so far. For number five, Iowa. They had, I think, the second best win this weekend. They beat Iowa State. They beat them, <clears throat> I think it was, let's see, it is 27-17. to 17. It, was, it was a really good game, honestly. Uh, 
Spencer Bracharius, the quarterback for Iowa, he led him for 21 with 106 yards, one touchdown. Not impressive, but he did enough. He did enough. Iowa State, they got uh, Kent State next. They should handle them pretty easily. And, uh, yeah, that's the top five. Uh, some teams that had some bad losses. Notre Dame, I mean, well, they didn't lose, but they looked bad. I'm going to give you all a couple teams that looked bad this week. Notre Dame, they looked terrible. I mean, they barely beat a Florida State team that lost to back Jacksonville State this past Saturday. And they barely beat, Notre Dame just barely beat Toledo. I mean, Notre Dame look, probably looking at three of our losses this year. Uh, who else looked bad? Texas, they got beat, throttled by um, Arkansas. It just was never even close. So, do they really want to come to the SEC? We'll see when they get here. They're probably looking at being the eighth, ninth, tenth best team in the SEC. And they're used to being at the top of the Big 12. So, something to watch out for in 2025 if they do come that way. They might be coming earlier. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you all on the next video.